Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to this video. Today, we're going to go over which OBS is the best. There's currently three OBS versions they can uh, download. There's Streamlabs OBS, there's Stream Elements OBS, which is OBS Live, and OBS Studio. We're going to go over them, see which one's the best. If you guys don't already know, I stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays. Link it down in the description below. If you like these type of video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into the video and uh, see which, one, which OBS is the best. Let's go. As I've said, there's three versions of OBSs available. There's Streamlabs OBS, there's OBS Live, and there's OBS Studio. So first, let's go over Streamlabs OBS and uh, see why you actually should not use that one. I started with Streamlabs OBS back when I started streaming. I've been streaming for over, for almost three years now, so I've been in the game for a little bit, so I kind of know stuff how, how stuff is going on. Uh, Streamlabs OBS is really easy to set up, actually. It's one of the easiest uh, programs to set up to start streaming. Everything is, you know, uh, easy, easy access. You have a built-in chat. You have everything already there. But the problem is once Logitech bought it, uh, everything was stuck behind a paywall. Like literally every single feature now in Streamlabs is behind a paywall. Uh, the alerts and everything is built in, which is amazing. A lot of beginners use Stream Streamlabs. So that's like, they think it's the one of the best OBSs, which I get it, you know, people people like uh, easy access, they don't like any any advanced stuff because they just want to click the button, start streaming, go live, no issues. But there's when issue actually happens in, because the problem with, with Streamlabs OBS is that it uses a lot of your CPU. So if you're on a budget, if you have a lower end PC, Streamlabs OBS will actually use a lot of your CPU and make your games and your streams lag. So if unless you have like a super, super beefy PC, I would not recommend using Streamlabs OBS just because everything is behind a paywall now. Everything is just, I don't know. It's just, it's their own version of the actual OBS. So they just use the core of OBS and they change the things up around it. Second thing we have is OBS Studio. It is the OG program that was used for streaming. It started as an, it, it still is an open source code where you know everything goes everybody that knows how to code can join it and do different things uh it gets updated pretty frequently unlike streamlabs obs which doesn't get updated that fast because once obs studio gets updated then there's you know some time for streamlabs to actually update their own version of that same program so that's why it takes that long uh there's a multi-platform support it's a low cpu usage there's multiple plugins you can use uh, sure, it might be a little bit more advanced at first. You might need some to watch some YouTube videos how to set everything up. But after you understand the basics, it is actually really, really easy to set up. Third thing we have is OBS Live, which is what I'm using right now as well. It's a Stream Elements version of OBS. It's just a plugin on top of the OBS Studio. So it's not an actual program like Streamlabs OBS. It's just a plugin that has more features like activity feed, uh, from stream elements you have the chat built in you have all these other cool uh, little plugins built in which make the makes everything so much easier and then on top of that you can install the plugins from from obs studio as well so you have like super super cool effects where you can like move your move your camera around like the move transition you have the blur transitions you have all these super cool uh, little plugins they can mess up with if you if you know how to use it and make your stream look look so much better so i would definitely recommend uh, stream elements obs or obs live just because it is a, it's just a plugin for OBS Studio and you cannot really go wrong with it. You can go with OBS Studio if you want for just a clean look. But again, I would recommend this. And then on top of that, you have the Stream Elements website. We can use browser sources uh, as alerts and all that stuff. So it, again, uses even less of your CPU and less of your resources because everything goes through a browser source. If I, if I could rate all the OBS programs on a tier list, I would definitely say OBS Live, OBS Studio, and then I would give uh, Streamlabs OBS last place just because you know again everything is under the paywall i don't really like that uh and yeah if you guys like this video make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe if you agree with me if you don't agree with me comment down below let me know what you think of this and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out and uh, have a good one bye bye